This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. we got Rob back on the channel, channel regular. Been here plenty of times and always brings us something a little bit different, shall we say. And what have you brought us today? Uh, it's Unchained, again. Yeah. Nice stuff. I think you've done this once, twice maybe on the channel before? Uh, twice I think now. Yeah. Always evolving. I, I guess it doesn't change all that much, but... Uh, five or six cards, a little bit like that. Cool. Uh, any comments before we start? Anything that, uh, you know, like matchups and things? I know obviously we played today. Uh, yeah, like I went 3-2 today, losing to Drytron and Sword Soul. And they're not bad matchups to lose, really. They're not bad matchups to lose, no. So, the deck feels good though, it feels solid. A lot of people also don't know how to play against it. Which that is, is another nice thing, yeah. People don't know how to play against it. Then. Okay. All right, cool, sweet. We'll get stuck into it, shall we? Ready when you are. All right. All right, so we start with the main deck. Um, so, like, not surprisingly, we've got the standard Untrained package. So we've got three Aruha. Yep. Uh, three Rakea. And three Sarama. Uh, I've explained what they all do by now, but you've got this one destroys, uh, sets a card from your grave to your field and then destroys a card. Yep. The blue one is a quick effect to destroy a card you control, and the red one destroys a card to special summon itself in the hand. Yep. Um, so they're all really useful. You don't really want to open this turn one, but it's fine if you do. There are ways to get around it. Yep. Uh, then the last three, Unchained, we played two Abominable Soul and one Disaster. This sucks to draw, but it's like the, a game state where you've got these two is just the best because you can use this to set this, destroy it, and then it's monster reborn for any unchained. It's just one of you know when like multiples are, you yeah, don't be clocking on it. Yeah, you don't want to be drawing it. Whereas this is good to draw because it can chain block things because it summons itself in the hand like multi faker. Um, and the 3k body comes up against things like Winder or things like that. Yep. Uh, then the last monster I play, which is new, is three Lord of the Heavenly Prison. This card is strong. This card is really good. Um, so people are like, oh, why do you want to play that? Because the unchained cards destroy all the spells and traps. You do your normal plays, and then at the end of your turn, you reveal this, stops your opponent from twin twisting or whatever your back row, and just the search to get a follow up play for next turn is so important. I guess you get to destroy stuff on your terms then, rather than yeah. your opponent just blowing you out like yeah. one. Like, they can't, like, lightning storm you. Because even if you get to float off that, it can be hard to play through that. But yeah. And the other fun thing with this is if you set a twin and you activate Torrential and you've got this revealed, the twin will survive and it's set. So there's really weird interactions like that in the uh, Then spells is only six, three extravagance. I was playing Prosperity, but because I'm playing the Lord and more traps, I just want to draw as many good cards as possible. Yep. Um, and then three Abominations Prison to search you for like chain cards. Uh, then onto the traps, which is a lot. I don't know how many. Sorry, just a moment. I just want to apologise about the noise in the background. We are recording at Locals. Just keep that in mind. Carry on. Um, then we got three of each of the Unchained Traps. So three Chamber. It summons an Unchained from Hand or Field. Or yep. Hand or Grave. Uh, three Escape, which destroys an Unchained card you control and a card your opponent controls. Both of them, when they're destroyed while set, will summon an Unchained monster in the deck. Yep. Uh, then onto the Generic Traps. We've got three Torrential. The single best card in the deck. This card is insane. Um, three Imper. The only Hand Trap in the main or side at all. Because especially in this, just hand traps feel so weak. Yeah. Like they don't do enough. Whereas in perm is really good. How versatile it is. Yep. Uh, three ice dragons prison because it's really good against a lot of the top decks and it's an out to dragoon and this deck just straight dies to dragoon. Yeah. Uh, then we play one heavy storm duster. This is purely a one-off that you can search off for the Lord if you need it. Things like Mystic Mine and Floodgates, yeah. things like that. Uh, then three strike because it was one of the best cards in the format. Yeah. No explanation needed. Then skill drain again. It's a searchable one of the Lord if you need it. And Imperial Order because it's a weak card. Cards absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, which has 42 cards to main deck. Cool. 
Now onto the extra, we've got three Unchained Soul of Rage. It's a quick effect to link with an opponent's special summoned monster. Uh, then we got three Anguish, which links in my turn with any opponent's monster, normal or special summon. Yeah. Then we got two Unchained Abomination. You never really summon this. I'm honestly thinking of cutting it to one because it so rarely comes up. The problem is with it is it doesn't have the recursion effect when it's destroyed that the other two do. So if you summon this and your opponent outs it, you've just lost so much card advantage. So you never really end up summoning it. Uh, one unicorn, I need to get a second one because this comes up a lot, the unicorn is really good. Uh, one BLS link, this is purely for things like Alter Guides because they can't out it. Yeah. Um, one access code talker because you make it with the anguish and you just win games for yep. free. Uh, one zero Boros, I don't know, it comes up sometimes, I have the space, why not? Underworld Goddess, again, it's a Dragoon out, so it's important. Then the last two cards are a DDD Stone King Darius and a Zeus. Yep. This basically, even if you're locked into Fiends, this is good, because you battle with it, and then during damage calculation, you detach the material. It can't be destroyed by battle, and it immediately destroys the opponent's monster. Yeah. So you can use it to crash into things. But then if you're not locked into fiends, then main phase two, you can just make a use. Seems pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, side deck. Um, again, I didn't want to play any hand traps, because they just feel really neggy. Yeah. So it's just all impact cards. I've got three Godala, because wind barrier statue, Dragoon, you know. Uh, dry Thrawn Herald, 3 Dark Ruler, same reason, just playing into boards, you rarely OTK with this anyway so it's fine. Yep. 3 Lightning Storm if we come up against back row, uh, and then for going first, 3 D Barrier because it hits so many decks at the moment, it's ridiculous. And then 3 Solemn Judgment because if you get evenly matched you lose. It's so. uh, so nice and tight. Uh, is there anything you would change in the deck at all? Uh, anything I would change? I don't know, like, I feel like the side's fine, and I feel like the main's fine. The one thing I'm missing is maybe changing one or two of the Lightning Storms to something like Cosmic. Yeah. Um, because then it gives me not only something that's non-destructive removal, but it's something I can set off of the Lord that I can activate when you can't use Lightning Storm. I guess it's slightly better, it deals with stuff like Scythe and things yeah, like that as well, like so that, added yeah. advantages of stuff like that. Apart from that, I'm really happy with it, it's consistent, you never really feel like obviously you're going to open hands where you don't open the non engine cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that happens with anything. Yeah, that's true. But this, this feels like the closest I've got to a really well working. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Right. I do really appreciate it. Any shout outs before we go? Uh, yeah, shout outs to Mark at Manuscrew for holding the best locals in Northampton. Best locals? It's been the best locals I've been to for the past four years now. Yeah. Great run. It only gets better as well. It keeps getting better. The player base is huge. We get 40 odd players every week. It's actually amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to Jam Jam Cards UK for always sorting me any cards that I need. On that note of Jam Jam Cards UK, if you want to get yourself a nice discount, link in the description. Use the code Rufio15. Go ahead, carry on. Uh, shout outs to Brandon, my mate and testing Brandy partner. B. Because I'm always testing with him and bouncing ideas off of him. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, he's, a better, Ken, he's a better Ken. player than me. So, you know. Here he is. He's been on the channel a few times. You might recognise him. Um, and then shout outs to Rufio for being the best and only Yugi tuber in his entire village. That's one way of doing it, right? Yeah, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I do really appreciate it. Guys, if you're watching and you haven't hit subscribe, you should definitely consider doing so and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one.